see a question from gate electrical engineer in 2012 this question is from differential equation so it says with initial condition the value of x at x equals to t is 0.5 y at x equals to t if you look at this question here x is your dependent variable okay and t is your independent variable okay so basically two variables are there so the value of x at x equals to 1 so value of x at t equals to 1 is given up to be 0.5 uh, this will be used to find the value of constant the solution of the differential equation this is so what we can do is divide both sides by t so that we get a linear differential equation so if we divide both sides by t we will get dx by dt plus 1 upon t into x equals to 1 okay so this is clearly of the form dx by dt plus a function of t into x equals to a function of t. One can also be treated as a function of t because it is nothing but t power 0. You can think like that. Okay. So p and q might be constant also or the uh, function of t so depends upon the question now how to solve this you know that when we have this type of question sabse pehle hum integrating factor find karte hain wo kya hota hai e ke power mein yahan jo function hota hai to yahan kaun sa function hai p here is 1 by t q here is 1 so e power 1 by t dt integration of 1 by t is log t so e power log t ok if we are supposing that uh, we have uh, sorry after integration we will get log t so Okay, e power log t. So if we suppose that here also we have ba base e. So this is written. Let me write it a uh, better way. So this is e power log t base e. So we know a power log x to the base a is x. So from here you will get t what will be my solution my solution will be dependent variable which is x into integrating factor equals to integral of q which is 1 into integrating factor integration ok so x into t equals to integration of t will be simply t square by 2 and we will get a constant c in order to find this constant we have been given uh, one condition that if you put t equals to 1 x will be 0.5 so x will be 0.5 that means half when you will put t equals to 1 so t is 1 that means 1 square by 2 plus c ok so from here you can easily say that uh, c equals to half minus half that is 0. So if c equals to 0, I will put this c in this equation and I will end up getting my final answer as tx equals to t square by 2 plus 0. So this is my final answer tx equals to t square by 2. So, uh, four options uh, were given in examination. I am not focusing on that options. This was your one of the options which was tx equals to t square by 2. 
I have purposely not given the option so that you focus more on the concept and problem solving part. So I hope you understood this question. Thanks and have a nice day.